What's up guys, it's James, and uh, as I said in the intro, I am in uh, Nepal right now. This is actually Gorapani, Nepal. It's uh, along the trek to a place called Poon Hill. Um, I'll include some video from Poon Hill afterwards. In the background here, uh, you can't really see the Himalayas today because of the clouds, but I'll also include a uh, short video of that. Today, um, I kind of want to talk about a few things um, that I've had on my mind lately. Uh, one of them is that is about this idea of momentum and how uh, we build momentum into our practice of whatever we want to practice and um, how we don't get too uh, involved uh, in our mind uh, with efforts that we do with our body and uh, kind of connecting the mind and the body together is uh, is important you know and um, so first uh, let me start off with uh, momentum so to me momentum is uh, this idea of uh, three, and so there's like there's there's three um, stages that create a sense of momentum. You have the the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then, so uh, the effort at the beginning will influence the um, the result of the um, of what happens after the end. So, in essence, what I'm saying here is that. Um, any of our actions that we take um, will almost always, uh, we, we won't realize it in the present moment, what the benefit, and that we'll realize the benefit afterwards. It's, not, it's nothing special in the moment um, because uh, maybe uh, it's, it's just as the moment is, you know, but um, afterwards when we have a sense of contrast, you know, when we take a break and we have a sense of contrast to what we did, then. Um, and uh, our mind and our body it grows from that experience. It, uh, the the brain wires the experiences. The the body rests. Um, we're able to uh, really appreciate and have a, a great uh, depth in us about that. So um, so there's three stages, and the the beginning uh, and the middle kind of come to the front uh, af after. And, and then the end, so there's always a payoff afterwards, after the effort. And so what we want to do is we want to have consistency in our efforts so that we get, uh, um, we're always getting some kind of return. And the thing that, when the, the easiest thing to do when, when we have uh, some sense of abundance or some sense of success is to believe that it's going to be permanent. Nothing's permanent. Um, I think that I just read in a Zen Mind Beginner's Mind saying that, uh, because we cannot accept the truth of transiency uh, that we suffer. So, um, in a sense, everything uh, will die. Um, every belief will die. Not, I'm not just talking about the, the living world, but in, in our heads too, you know, our beliefs, our thoughts, um, our relationships, everything, um, in some sense, it's, uh, at some point in life comes to an end. So, we have to accept this and remember this when, when we're on the high. So, it's like a... If you're in the casino and and you're and you're winning and you're winning and you're winning, and the the, the hardest thing to do then is to stop and pull out on top. And the easiest thing to do is to keep going, and to uh, and then just to lose it, you know, uh, on a big bet or something, or you slowly lose it, you know. So it's like to to have a sense of abundance, and then to accept that is difficult. So. Alright guys, so so if you're in a casino and you win a bunch of money, uh, it might not be the best example to compare with success in life because uh, maybe in a casino uh, there's different systems at play that come into determining success, whereas in life uh, there's uh, other systems. So uh, in life um, there'd be like uh, approaching rewards and um, and uh, working hard, you know, uh, having good work ethic, being consistent, you know, is what we're talking about today, and how consistency and momentum are uh, together, in a sense. And so, what I, I want to say is that, so when, when we do have that sense of success in life, then it's it's very easy to think that it will last. It will last a long time for us, and uh, we we fail to remember, uh, maybe just naturally, that. Um, that the reason that we're that we're successful now 
has to do with the efforts that we made in the past. So there's this idea of momentum, and in the past we made these efforts, and so it created this sense for us now, uh, the, this feeling for us now. So, um, so what will happen is we'll work hard, and then if we um, don't have a thing called leverage, if we don't have uh, a motivation to continue to work hard, then we will uh, we'll kind of slack off a little bit, and we'll have that reward, that uh, great sense of uh, success, and then slowly will fade, and eventually will fade below our the standard that we work to achieve. So, uh, what we want to do is one of two things. One is, uh, and this is kind of the the easier way, is to create some kind of leverage on ourselves, some kind of motivation that uh, that we make sure that we continue to work hard even after we have some success, and we continue to push through that, uh, push through that validation. It's like if I dumped a, a bucket of water on you, you know, it, it would be like you, you'd be wet. You wouldn't need any more water on you. you. You'd be wet already. So it's like if I dumped a bucket of validation on you, you wouldn't need any more validation. Um, but you continue. The, so it's like once, once those human needs are satisfied uh, for like something like validation or, you know, like, or like in the game, like sex, you know, if, when, once you have sex, like, and you have someone that you can rely on to have sex with, then you don't need it anymore. So, um, we, but, and then we forget to go out or you know try as hard or you know have that, that hustle, you know that, that that working hard. So I don't know. Kind of a, a cool example I thought was how Psy, you know, uh, the you remember Gangnam Style from last year? It's kind of, it's kind of an old one, but what he basically did was he created this great song. I'm sure that he worked very hard to make it, even though it's very creative. I'm sure that. He put together, and then he made the music video, which was equally as impressive, you know. Um, the, the song was great, but the music video made it, right? So he continues to work hard, and then, so what he could have done was, he could have just like been like, I'm a Korean, I'm in Korea, I, I made this great song, I made this great music video, love me. I'm awesome. And the people did love him. The, all the Koreans love this guy. And it went around the world, and then, and then he toured the world, you know, like, he, he went to, I saw he was in Brazil, you know, I, I don't know where else he went, but I know that he toured the world. He, he did interviews all, all around the world. He continued to receive that validation. And because he already had the validation, everything that he was doing was giving to other people. He was giving to the people at the, the, the party in Brazil that I saw about, or, you know, he was giving to people when he gave the interview. So when, once you have that sense of abundance, you can give back to people. And um, I think that humans are, you know, Many people are so used to being in scarcity that it it feels weird to uh, to have that you know that bucket of validation dumped on them and then to and then to give you know give some validation to other people. So it's like um, yeah, take that as an example. You know, so we have to have leverage. We have to have some something that uh, makes us continue to uh, to try hard, uh, to work hard, um, to continue to. I I think that one of these leverage points is to have a a vision of a of a a, a really high vision of, of what you want. So even uh, the small successes don't seem as as um, they, they're just they're just steps along the way. So if you really have a, a great vision of what you want, then uh, you can um, if you can create this vision for yourself. You know, write down like if if your wildest dream came true, what would it be? Or if you could change the world, how would you change the world? Or um, if you could be a, a great lover, or you know, a great um, a great parent or you know a great teacher or what would that take you know if everything that you ever wanted to come together then what would that take and then take all those things and break it down and those those are those are your stepping stones that's that's all it is study the people who uh who have done this and uh it, you'll be on your way so uh, the, the that's one way to create leverage another way to create leverage is something like i use stick.com because uh um, I, I put money against myself uh, so that I'll run. Uh, right now I'm not running because I don't have a stick contract. But last month I had a great month of running, and so I'm going to continue to do that so I can train for the marathon, Barcelona marathon, be ready for that. So you have to create, uh, or you know, like uh, one of the leverage points in the pickup community is uh, to give a friend money so that um, when you're out the club, you've already you get yourself up to the club. Uh, you know you can uh, talk to people, but maybe approaching a girl or trying to kiss a girl or trying to close a girl, you don't get that money back until you actually put forth the effort that that you know will get you to your higher place. So.
So yeah, so these are a couple of leverage points. And that the other way, a, a much deeper way to create leverage is much more subtle. And for me, it's, uh, it's very difficult to find. I'm always trying to find this place. And I'll, I'll try to explain it to you the best I can. It's simply to um, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. And to have everything that you do be something that you want to do. Um, to have everything that you do be saying that's a, a um, expression of who you are. And what this takes is feeling into yourself. And, and feeling into every situation as much as you can. And when you do this, you realize that the things that you want to achieve um, are in some way just an expression of yourself. So... Uh, for example, in like uh, athletics, like working out is, is something that's very very primal, you know. And uh, it, it, there's like this ancient uh, metaphor of like the the man who like runs for three uh, three hours a day to find food, and at the end he does the sprint and he and he kills the 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 buffalo. It's kind of like that. So there there's so many things that are in us that help us to stay alive. You know, our basic drives. Um, are, are very, uh, very very innate and I'm kind of going off topic here but what I'm saying is that everything that you kind of want is in you already and on one level it's like it can be expressed but it can only be expressed when when the mind uh, the, the modern the modern uh, incarnation of the mind is kind of depleted so I uh, it's, it's a hard place to find where where it's just, I guess what they say in the community is that you do what you want to do. You don't care what people think. You say what you want to say. There's no mental uh, commentary going on that, that's making you decide what you do. You just kind of follow what would be like your intuition or something. Like you just, in, in a way it just comes from a, a sense of like, it just comes out like this. It, it just, it like when I'm talking to you, uh, I'm kind of creatively going through my thoughts I have throughout the day and they're just coming out, you know, like this. And, um, I mean, this is like the, 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 the zone of state is that, um, is, is being in that place where uh, everything is just, just flows, you know, and, um, I, I think Tyler talks about this a lot. You all, you all set, you have to take things in, you know, you have to bring it in. So I read books, you know, I do things like that so that I can go out, you know, like this, so. Look at all these tourists.